So you guys really enjoyed the GOAT core career simulation of the OKC Thunder with that big three of Harden, KD, and Westbrook. So today, we are taking over another team from that era, arguably the greatest trio of all time. It's up there, and that is the Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, San Antonio Spurs. So the year is pretty much 2008 right now. Derrick Rose will be drafted in this upcoming draft, and then you got like Russ, Brooke, etc. So this team right here, at this moment of the starting a simulation, because I thought this would be a good year, has four championships. They just recently beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. They swept them. That was the team led by LeBron. Wasn't a good team around LeBron. And then for six straight years, they lost in the conference finals, lost in round one, lost in the conference semis, lost in round one again, lost in the conference finals. Then they lost in the NBA finals in 2013, and then finally won in 2014, and that's when the course started kind of fading away. Kawhi Leonard came in, Marcus Aldridge came in. So we have four championships with this core right now. Or excuse me, three championships. They ended up with four. I would like to end up with seven plus. So yeah, I'm not gonna be making big moves like I did in the OKC Thunder video where I signed Chris Bosh. They're gonna put Ginobili off the bench. That is fine. It seems like that's gonna be rolling with. So I'm actually not gonna be making many moves. Like if we go to the team automation, scouting's gonna be on, staff management's on. I hope they don't let Pop go. I just hope they don't end up trading away anybody of the big three because then I gotta get them back. So yeah, we're gonna see what this team can do. I actually have injuries off, so let me put those back on. And we'll see what this team can do. Let's just quickly go to the system proficiency. It's four and a half star defense. I wonder if like Ginobili gets it to five. Nope, uh, but we'll see what this team can do. Let's start the simulation. This is the 2007-2008 year. Let's get this going hot and win a championship and went back to back. So Tim Duncan wins MVP. That's nice for the legacy. I mean, he's had multiple before. Ginobili gets six men in the year. He's had that before as well. KG's went deep boy. Dwight Howard wins most improved. We go 71 and 11. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Duncan gets all NBA first team. Does Parker maybe take something home? Nope, I didn't notice uh, Tony Parker at all. So if we want to take a look at our stats throughout the season, we could see that Tim Duncan was an absolute stud. 25, 16, and six and a half. Tony Parker averaged 19 and about eight. He was 54, 40, but just couldn't hit his free throws. Manu Ginobili, 16.7 points, five rebounds, almost six assists, a steal and a half, 37 from three. 62% true shooting, and then here are the complimentary pieces. We'll see how many stick around. And then for the updated rotation on the playoffs, we're fully healthy, thank God. We are gonna keep Ginobili off the bench. I mean, all right, we can do that. So we have the Utah Jazz in round one. Most notably, Andre Karolanko, Darren Williams, and Carlos Boozer. Can we defeat them and advance here to the second round? And boom, there we go. Now, I wanna put out a disclaimer. The roster probably won't be the greatest because I'm on Xbox Series X. Uh, unfortunately, my PC version, I'm not in Philly right now. Usually like if there's a green screen behind me I'm in Philly if there's no green screen behind me I'm in New York so I don't have my PC here in New York until after Christmas therefore I won't be able to use the better rosters on the PC so I just apologize for those for maybe any of these historic ones we have the Dallas Mavericks who got Terry Stackhouse Keith Van Horn Dirk Nowitzki they got Doug Christie there we are down 2-0 the Texas rivalry we are tying it up though 2-2 and we end up winning in six that's what I'm talking about and yeah we got this Lakers team with like Kobe Odom Bynum Sasha Sasha Vucevic, Devin George. Can we beat the Lakers? Kobe versus the Spurs. And we end up losing in five. Uh, and then you have the Pistons in the finals. Oh yeah, like Rip Hamilton, that core is still there. McDice, Rasheed Wallace. Well, that sucks. We end up losing in five games. I have to go back to the 2018 lottery system, obviously. Our pick is going to end up being 29. So, rookie signings. Uh, we got Karen Logan. So, uh, these are some auto-generated guys. But if you want to see, Russ goes to the Blazers. Gallinari goes to the Knicks like he did in real life. Rockets get Batum. Brook Lopez to the Timberwolves. Derrick Rose goes to Charlotte, or New Orleans at the time. Love goes to the Celtics. Or I don't know what Charlotte that would have been yeah because well the Hornets Bobcats obviously the Bobcats aren't in here so uh let's just see what this team ends up doing I'm not going to be making any moves for them so let's see do they pick anybody up uh they end up not re-signing like Bruce Bowen Michael Finley really that's not a recipe for success they signed Antonio McDice to around 20 million a year at age 33 that's a risky move but I guess he's gonna be that power forward they get Howard Eastley Trenton Hassel as well Anthony Doyle it sucks that they didn't bring back Bruce Bowens I think that was a very interesting decision they brought back uh, Michael Finley, which is good though. All right, on to the 2008-2009 season. Ginobili starting to regress. And then this video will end once 
one of these three retires. So Parker, I think his age is clearly off. Like Parker should probably be around 29 at this time as well. Parker played, I think the longest, right? He played till like 2018. Remember that one year he played with the Hornets? Uh, can I increase their age from here? All right, cool. Uh, I would just put them, I'll just put them there. It might not be exactly right. So let's see what the rotation is going to look like. It's Parker. They're going to start Ginobili. They got Michael Finley, Tim Duncan, Antonio McDice. Then they got Brent Barry, Howard Eastley, this dude. Trent Hassel off the bench. All right, we'll see what this team can do. System proficiency under Pop is going to be four-star defense. And let's see if this team could get another, another one seed. But we need more championships. Come on. All right, so we are the one seed again. And Derek Rose is just going to be MVP once he uh, hops into his rookie year. Andrew Barbosa wins six men of the year. Dwight goes to LA. Kind of like he did in real life, just a little bit earlier. Tim Duncan takes home all NBA first team honors. And he also gets all defensive first team as well. All right, so it's playoff time. We are the one seed again. We're on the other side of the bracket. Uh, then the Lakers. It looks like they didn't really make any moves at all at the deadline. I think Barry's hurt. Yeah, Brent Barry is currently hurt. So this bench is not great. We're really relying on this big three. We haven't thought about drafting that Cole High Leonard yet, you know, in the 2011 draft. All right, so we have OKC in round one. Like, yeah, uh, rookie JaVale McGee starting at the five. We should really beat this team. Uh, this should be a sweep if they went, they won, what? Oh my God, they went to seven on us? Who was playing well? JaVale McGee averaged 14. What did Gerald Wallace average? 18, Rasheed Wallace averaged, or Richard Lewis, wow. Rashid Wallace, damn, because I said Gerald Wallace. He averaged 19. What, though? How did they do that? I, I don't know. So we got Memphis in round two. We should defeat them, and we end up winning in six. Now we have the Warriors, who have signed LeBron James out of Cleveland. Oh, I could see why, or I could see how they ended up. No, they didn't even beat the Lakers. The Blazers beat the Lakers. All right, can we beat the Warriors, though? It would be nice to go to the finals, and we're down 2-0. Man, if we're going to be the one seed and lose to the, losing the conference finals two years in a row, is that really what's going to happen? 3-0, and it's going to go to a game five. I mean, like, they went up 3-0. There's no way we end up winning this series. They just kind of gave us that one. We might force it to 3-2 to if we don't blow it here in the fourth quarter. All right, so we have a 3-2 to series here. Duncan had a triple-double. All right, let's see what happens here. Game six, can we force the game seven? Not a terrible first quarter, but could be a lot better. We don't get it back in the second. We barely get it back in the third. We're down by five, so it is possible to win this game. Down by six. Down by 10, down by 10. And for the second straight year, the Spurs lose in the conference finals, man. Oh, that is so brutal. That really is. Oh, I don't really know what to do with this team. I mean, like I, I mentioned before, I'm just going to pretty much let 2K decide it. Uh, I've re-signed Tony Parker. As long as they don't move Parker, Chernobyl, or Duncan, I don't really care what they do. They get another auto-generated guy. James Harden goes number one. Steph goes two. Hey, the Timberwolves finally draft him this time around. They don't pass on him twice for Rubio and Johnny Flynn. Like, Antonio McDice was probably just, like, a really stupid signing in hindsight. So they're going to get Jack Posey, Eden Thomas, and Catino Mobley. Uh, he's at the end of his career. All right, so player progression. We can really see that. We got a 99, 91, 86. Got to keep this going. I got to get another championship, man. We really do. So this is going to be the 2010 season. I mean, during this time in real life, the Spurs couldn't win either. But I would like to, you know, do better than that. And if we're taking a look at what we just ended up doing with the OKC Thunder, this... We got, like, these are rookie numbers. Come on, let's win a championship this year. We have actually been pretty lucky with injuries as well. We haven't really had to worry about those. We're going to lock up Tim Duncan on a three-year extension, and we'll have to eventually do that with Ginobili at the deadline. Steph Curry takes home rookie of the year this season, and we are the two seed here in the Western Conference. We have the Utah Jazz in round one. Okay, I don't think Dylan Brooks was playing in the NBA at this time, but we can take a look at the player stats. Tim Duncan led the way in scoring. There's Tony Parker Manager Ginobili, Antonio McDice, Michael Finley. And I don't really think this team made any trades at all, which I don't know is a little bit interesting. Let me just make sure I have that part on auto trades because uh, I could just be completely wrong and have that. So like lineup automation, it doesn't matter. Yeah, trades uh, automation is on. So they could be making trades if they wanted to. Let's see what happens in round one here against the Jazz. Three to one. Oh my God, we lose in six. So we have been on a decline. I may need to step in this offseason and make some moves, man, because that is not, like, we're not off to a good start at all. Credit this team won at all, but that shouldn't matter. Like, we should be arguably the best team in the league. So, 
Time to make some trades. I don't think I'm going to trade up in this draft. I think that could be like a next year thing when I try to go get Kawhi, if I could even get him. All right, so we're going to be trading McDice, pick 25, and Corey Mitchell, who was our first round pick two years ago, for a 24-year-old Andrew Bynum, who's in the last year of his deal. We make the Lakers worse. We get better. And then I'm also going to trade uh, Eden Thomas here in a second for Speedy Claxton from the Milwaukee Bucks. Team player options, sure. We could bring back some of these guys. Qualifying offers, whatever. Oh, so Manu Ginobili is a free agent, therefore. For, like I'm not gonna have any money this offseason. Oh, we already gave him a four-year deal. Perfect. Uh, wait, come on. This game is gonna annoy me. Let's just give him this five-year deal. Because I was like, oh, we have like 20 million in cap space. No, it's because we don't have Ginobili on this team. We're gonna look to bring in Nick Collison as well. Because it'd be nice if I could actually afford Collison. We, they signed Kurt Thomas. I can also bring back Michael Finley. I'm gonna do that on a one-year deal. Danny Green! Yes, a 23-year-old Danny Green. That's perfect. Why is Caleb Martin in here? I don't know. But here is the draft. Uh, this was 2K's 2010 draft, so Pete Erickson goes 1, Paul George there, Cousins, Whiteside, John Wall goes 7th. Alright, um, where did Gordon Hayward, or Gordon Hayward went ninth to the Hawks, okay. Player progression, uh, this team's still solid around these guys, it's, it's not great though. Alright, so we got Parker, Ginobili, Finley, Duncan Bynum with Nick Collison, uh, Speedy Claxton, Larry McKnight, and Kurt Thomas off the bench. It's still not great. I mean, I would look to potentially trade Michael Finley and Karen Logan. Could I get anything better? I'm going to take Jason Maxwell from the Warriors or Jason Maxiel. So system proficiencies, four-star defense. It's finals or bust for this team again. Marcus Cousins wins rookie of the year for the Charlotte Horn. Wait, they have Cousins and they have D-Rose? That's kind of crazy. I also just saw that Ryan Anderson averaged 28 points a night for the Miami Heat. All right, Ryan Anderson's like a star now. Duncan got third team. We are the two seed this year. All right, uh, we are fully healthy. Oh, no, Tony Parker is hurt. Oh, uh, what is his injury? He has a dislocated left patella. He is out for the season. All right, so can we win the championship without our starting franchise point guard? I don't even know if we'll get out of round one. We do, though. We, we just do. Uh, we beat the Thunder in six games. Ginobili goes off Duncan and Bynum. Like, this is the big three we need to carry us. Can they beat Minnesota? They got, like, Brooke Lopez, uh, Kendrick Perkins, I saw. And we beat them in six. All right, conference finals time. Oh, man, we're screwed <laughs> They have Ross, who's a 92 already in year three. They have Elton Brand, who's 31, but he's still a stud at a 92 uh, overall. And they have KG. Oh, we're screwed. No chance we win this game, and we're going to lose our third conference finals in this video. That's a damn shame. I knew it. Mm, I was hoping to use reverse psychology. Maybe if we had Parker, we had a chance. But yeah, we could not win a single championship. Uh, we are owing, like, what, three or four in this video now? It's not helping because a lot of our players are getting... A lot older. Like Duncan, Parker, Ginobili, they're not getting any younger. 33. Duncan might only have like three years left. And I have to at least win one more championship or then like this team wouldn't have done better than the real life Spurs. All right, so Kawhi Leonard is the projected number one player in this draft. Therefore, it would be virtually impossible for me to snag him. I mean, I could look to trade this. Can I move up in the draft? Because we need to take some rookies on this team. Like, I doubt the Pistons do this trade. Oh, wow, they do. We have pick nine. All right, so I'm basically just going to simulate there. I'm sure Kawhi is off the board. Yeah, he went number one to the Suns. That sucks. Like, I would have loved him. No, it auto-drafted a player. I can't win at all in this video. Damn it, who did they take? They took Addison Pessoa uh, out of Kentucky. I would say if he's a foreign player, then it would be kind of realistic. Who was still on the board, though? I would have... Can I even see who's still on the board? Clay Thompson? Nope, he went. Tristan Thompson was on the board. Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, Ennis Freedom went. Vujovic went. All right, so a lot of the main players were off the board. Kemba, I could have possibly taken. All right, it is what it is. We are going to sign him. I did give up two of the players in our rotation. It's just like, we also have no cap space. At all. So I would like to bring back Andrew Bynum. It's a must. They signed the journeyman, Drew Good, into a two year deal. Okay. Derek Fisher signed to a one year deal. Luke Walton still playing to a one year deal. I'm going to sign Keith Van Horn as well. I just want like all former old players. Nazar Muhammad, that's good with me. All right, so player progression. Parker's regressed, obviously, off the patella injury. How is Bynum regressing? I don't know. He's like 26. All right, so we got the 2012 season coming up here. We got Parker Ginobili, that rookie that we took at nine. Duncan bottom probably our best like lineup yet yeah we'll see what this team can do is pop still around he is 
Uh, he hasn't retired yet, so we'll see what happens here in the 2012 season. We haven't even been to a finals yet in this video. It's been that disappointing. All right, so we ended the season as the three seed. Tim Duncan got all NBA first team and all defensive first team, so we'll see if this team could make a run as the three seed. I don't know if it will. They traded for Victor Oladipo, who technically would be drafted this year, so just ignore that. I mean, it's a little, it's a little factor to this rebuild. I know it's not the greatest roster. I do apologize. I mentioned in the beginning of the video why that is a thing. So let's go here to the coaching game plan, but I've really wanted to kind of, you know, run this team back, see what they could do in their careers again with the San Antonio Spurs, with the big three, arguably the greatest big three ever. It's up there because then you got, because there wasn't really a long-term big three that played for around 10 years in Chicago. You always had Pippen and Jordan. Rodman came for the second three people. But like the, this Spurs team, they've been here for 10 years or over 10 years. Like even the, the, the Heatles, like LeBron, Wade, and Bosch, they only played what, four years? I think four, yeah. Um, and then you got like, I think the team that will get closest to of like a modern day era will be the Golden State Warriors with Draymond, Clay, and Curry. Um, and then like the Kawhi is like the Kevin Durant and we end up blowing a three to one lead. This has been embarrassing. This really has been. LeBron James has gone to the Celtics and he gets finals MVP. We haven't done anything in this video. And Derek Fisher's retiring. We're screwed. I mean, let's go to the draft. I could look to make some trades. No, Oladipo would actually be like another year later. So I don't want, I don't want any like messed up roster guys. Give me Angel Barbosa. I'm actually going to do this trade if I don't find anything better. Yeah, I want to do this trade. So, we're going to pick up Barbosa. There we go. We drafted Alan Miller at 25. Okay. We signed uh, Tony Parker to a long-term extension in the beginning of the year. Oh, Bynum's a free agent again? I thought I re-signed him last year. Or maybe he was restricted last year. That could be it. So, uh, Birdman. Welcome to San Antonio. That's a pretty cool signing. Going to look to bring back Luke Walton as well on a one-year deal. All right. So, player progression. Oof. Not looking good. This is the 2012-2013 season. So they ended up going to the finals in real life this year. But they ended up losing in seven games to the Miami Heat. We all know the Ray Allen clutch. Three in game six. Uh, then forcing a game seven. So let's take a look at what the rotation is going to look like. Parker, Ginobili, that how would that rookie do last year? He was solid. Duncan has been like our most dominant player. But that is no surprise. Obviously, he's the best player on this big three. Ginobili's still been really good. Parker's been really good as well. We'll see what Bonham can do. Again, because he's been a double-double machine since he's came here. I think this is actually not a bad bench. So, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up, though, because every year has ended in disappointment. All right, so we're still in, like, finals contention, man. We're the three seed going up against the Phoenix Suns here. The player stats from this year... I guess everybody's numbers are going down. I just re-signed Duncan to like a new three-year extension, but I thought this was one of our better teams yet. Duncan's been getting 36 minutes, and oh, Bynum's playing with an injury. That is great. Oh, yeah, we're going up against Kawhi Leonard. That is going to be fun, but he's not like that good yet. Uh, I mean, like the beginning of his Spurs career, he wasn't really all that. So we ended up sweeping them, which is nice. Now we got Memphis. Please don't lose the Memphis. Please, please. Please, and we lose in six. Oh my God. We can't win a championship at all to save our lives. Oh, this is so brutal, man. This is so brutal. I'm actually gonna end this video with zero new championships for the Spurs. This is embarrassing. I don't get it though. We've had some like really good seasons as one seeds, as two seeds, as three seeds, but we can't even get to the big one. We can't even go to the finals. So we actually have the 12th pick via the Lakers and we should probably use that. I mean, let's see who they take. Can you take a real player for once? Hey, there we go. We have selected Otto Porter out of Georgetown with the 12th overall pick. All right, so I'd like to bring back Leandro Barbosa on a three-year deal, and we're going to do that. Ooh, can I sign Jason Richardson as well to a two-year deal? That'd be pretty sweet. And boom, there we go. We get Jay Rich. I would like to bring back Drew Gooden as well. Uh, will he accept? Kristen, I don't want, but I want Drew Gooden. All right, play progression. Mm. We needed a Kawhi. We needed a Kawhi. I don't really know what to do with this team. I mean, I could look at a big trade, that Pesosa guy, and I could look to move Bynum and package that. So, I mean, hypothetically, if we threw this up on the trade finder, could I get something really good? Marvin Williams? I mean, maybe I should. I can pick up Sean Marion and this Randy Dunfellow. I mean, he's just as good as Bynum, and I get Sean Marion in this deal. Honestly, let's do this. I, I have to give up Barbosa, which sucks, but we got to change something up. I mean, this team has not been able to sniff the pl uh, the finals, so I would not mind moving. Marion, is there like a star out there? I mean, I'm not trading Tony Parker, Joe Johnson. 
Eh, he hasn't, he's fell, fallen off a little bit. Kyle Korver has turned himself into a really good score. And I think we can use some offense rather than defense. So I'm going to do this trade. And we just have so many centers. So I'm going to look to trade uh, Chris Anderson and Corey Cook here. And we're going to pick up Evan Fournier in a first round pick. All right. So here is our rotation. Tony Parker, Kyle Korver, Manu Ginobili, Tim Duncan. And then it'll be Randy Dunn. I don't know why Alan Miller would play over him. Uh, and then you got Fournier, this dude, Josh or Jason Richardson and Otto Porter off the bench. So this has been our best team yet. Let's go out and win a championship, please. All right, so we reclaimed the one seed. Chris Paul wins MVP for the Milwaukee Bucks. Greg Popovich takes home coach of the year. We go 62 and 20. So I would be very upset if we don't win a championship. I just re-signed Ginobili to like a three-year deal. Everybody is healthy. Duncan's a 99 overall. How old is he right now? He's 35. Like, there is no reason for us not to win a championship this year. Like, this has definitely been our best team yet. So, if I lose, I'm going to be so disappointed. Kyle Korver shooting 43% from downtown, a 64% true shooting percentage. Please just beat Utah. They've beaten us before, but we sweep them. Let's go. Now, we have the Lakers, who have a good team. They have Jimmy Baller and they have Dwight Howard, but we end up winning at five. Let's freaking go. We're in the conference finals. Take it on the Phoenix Suns. Game one, we win. Is this going to be the year? They are the sixth seed. Yes, this is the year. We finally go to the championship for the first time in this video. But we have to take on the Sam Mattingly guy that's been developing like insane. Okay, 2K. And LeBron. Oh, that's going to be brutal. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we lose. That's our second loss this whole playoff run. And are we finally going to get them a championship? Yes. This comes in the 20, I believe, 13 season. The year they lost. Correct. I can go by the draft class. No, this is the 2014 year. So this is the one that they ended up beating the Heat in. They finally get a ring. I don't know. I'm just happy that we added one more ring to their resume. So now they have four all time. So here are two draft picks right there. Let's go here to team player options. Kyle Korver opts out. We're going to look to bring him back though. Oh, we also have D uh, Davis Bertans on this team. Okay. Uh, so just please bring back everybody. There's no reason for you not to bring back Korver. Uh, Dunn is restricted, so that's fine. They also signed Matt Barnes as well. I mean, that's cool with me. I'm going to look to sign Raja Bell to a minimum contract. Zaza Pachulia as well. We can use those depth pieces. So it looks like we're not going to get back Evan Fournier. He had a good year, so that kind of sucks. All right, so here's the team. Parker is now down to an 82. Uh, I don't know who's going to retire first, but it looks like this could be potentially the last year. I don't know. I mean, Mike, if you watch the Steph Curry goat race, see, I, I literally thought his last year was going to be in like his age 37 season. He ended up playing until he was like 41 years old. So we're going here until 2015, and we'll see what happens right now. So we've got Parker, Corver, Ginobili, Duncan, Anderson, Verjao over Randy Dunn. Interesting, but hey, we got back Fournier. We have Jason Richardson, Alan Miller, Otto Porter. This team should go back to back. Nikola Jokic is on the Cavs, winning rookie of the year. DeMar DeRozan, sixth man of the year in Boston. Tim Duncan got an NBA first team honors, and we are the one seed once again. They traded for Lamar Odom. All right, and Jermaine. No, wait. No, they didn't give up any of the big three. What? How did they pick up Jermaine O'Neal? Whoa, that is massive. Kyle Korver. Oh, uh, did we really need this trade? I don't know. I don't know if trading Kyle Korver was the move. Ugh. All right, well... We have to wait and see, but yeah, this is what we're rolling with for the playoffs. I mean, it's good, and now the bench is like a leap, but like, we don't really need Jermaine O'Neal, Tim Duncan. I mean, it's probably smart to start Jermaine O'Neal, right? <laughs> that would make sense. So, uh, for our system proficiency, it is going to be three and a half star defense. We can take a quick look at the player stats from the 2015 season. Here they are, and let's see what happens. We have the Sacramento Kings in round one, and we are going to make... Not light work of them after it took us six games to beat them. The Lakers, they've crushed my dreams a couple times in this video. And we almost blow it 3 0 lead against them, but we're fine. Now we have Dallas, who doesn't have that great of a team. And we win in five. So there we go. We're in back-to-back -back finals. We have the Atlanta Hawks. They have Kobe and LeBron. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they have Kobe and LeBron. Oh my god, and we lose in six. I mean, like, really? That's who I have to go up against in the finals? That is so brutal. All right, we got another year of the big three at least. So we got Devin Booker at pick 30. Wow, he fell all the way to 30. That's kind of shocking. So I want Randy Dunn doesn't really want to re-sign with us, really. I mean, like, we do have Jermaine O'Neal now, so it's not the end of the world. But can you use that money elsewhere then? Brandon Clark, he wouldn't be in the league yet. I don't want him. Uh, can we get somebody different? Can we get somebody different? Come on. Nope. Really? We're not going to get anybody? Reggie Evans and Jake Whitehead? Yeah, give me auto-generated, guys. That's who I want. Day 9. All right. We get Mac Tate. And that is pretty much it. So, 
We might have gotten worse. It just sucks that we had to go up against, like, Kobe and LeBron. It's like, in real life, they lost the finals. In seven, we ended up losing in six. And then we won a finals. Um, and they did in real life as well. They ended up beating the Heat. And we'll see what the 2016 season has for us. Uh, like, these guys are getting a lot older. Oh, we don't even have Jermaine O'Neal anymore. That's amazing. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> We just re-signed Corver too, so like it would have been nice to have him. Oh, all right, 36, 36, 37. Let's see what happens at the end of the year. And this San Antonio Spurs team finishes up as the three seed this season. Did they make any major moves? They have CJ McCollum now. Okay, I don't know if they signed him. It looks like it. I will take that. All I want is another championship for this team. Lamar Odom really hasn't worked out, and you traded Kyle Corver for basically one year of Jermaine O'Neal. Don't waste the Memphis. They've like owned me in this whole video. And the Lakers, can we beat them in seven? Yes. Oh my god, no, we can't beat Dallas in seven. No. Oh man. Oh. Dallas, the Lakers, I feel like Memphis, they've all owned us in this video, which has been unfortunate. And unfortunately, the core has retired and Ishan Verja, so we have to end the video. But for real though, we do have to end it. Pop retired. He's part of the core. Been in the league for 40 years, that's kind of mind-blowing. But yeah, I'm actually gonna end it. Like, I, I don't feel right trying to compete with this team without Pop because, like, as much as Duncan... Ginobili and Parker mean to the Spurs in that core. Pop means so much more to them and what that core represented. So that's it. Unfortunately, this was kind of a fail for this team. We really didn't do much. We won one championship. We lost one. So we just went to two in this video. I don't think this is the greatest core ever in a recent. If you like watch the Thunder one, yeah, that's the greatest core ever. This, I don't think so. But let me know, is the Spurs big three the most successful big three of all time? Let me know down below. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.